Hey, what's going on everybody for First We Feast? I'm Sean Evans coming at you from Kitty Co Sushi in Los Angeles, where I'm joined by one of Southern California's biggest, most unrepentant sushi snobs, Andy Milanakis. I feel bad. So many people love sushi and I try to bite my tongue when people are like, yeah, I love sushi. And then they start talking about it and within the first two sentences I know I'm like, it's not real sushi. Some of my friends call it candy sushi, which is just like rolls and tempura flakes and eel sauce and spicy mayonnaise and all the like Americanized bullshit. What is it about sushi specifically that gets your juices flowing? Sushi is a vacation for the mouth. <laughs> no. um, to me, just raw seafood in general is like the best food on the planet. Like to me, not, there's nothing like tastier than some good raw Fish. Well, we're here at Kitty Co Sushi. We're here to learn from one of the best sushi masters in the game, Chef Ken Namba. And we're gonna be trying out the omakase menu, which is a service that is just up to the chef. It's very much a dealer's choice. Chef special, baby. But first, to the kitchen with an awkward transition so we can figure out what the hell we're eating for is this, Does this make it awkward? Woo! My name is Ken Namba. I am the owner chef of uh, Kiriko Sushi in the uh, heart of West Los Angeles. I was born in Tsukiji, raised in Tsukiji. The Tsukiji market is the biggest fish market in the world and the most interesting fish place in the world, no doubt. I started my career when I was 17, worked in a very famous master chef. This master chef, he was already over 70, but one of the fastest, best hands I've ever seen. Myself, I'm over 60, but I'm still learning. That's the only way that tomorrow is better. Omakase means chef's menu. Chef picks the best of the day. For Sean, tonight's omakase is the adventure. He will never forget for the rest of his life. I'm not really a seafood guy. Like Hot one scares the shit out of me. <laughs> Hot one scares the shit out of you? Sushi scares the shit out of me. Really? For real. I like it. Yeah. I like to just sit back and then just whatever comes, I'll just take it down, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'll remember that next time we hang out and we're not shooting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, today's sushi omakase. I start with the uh, bluefin tuna. Tuna is a big animal. Right after you catch, you try to eat, it's too hard. So we have to age the tuna for probably seven days or more to settle the flavor and tender the meat. I think that's the biggest misconception too, is like the freshest, the better, kill it, slice it, eat it. That's what everybody and, says yeah. about tuna, is that the fresher is when you, like, that's when you eat it, but no. No. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Lights it up a little bit. Mm, wasabi. That's what I like about I like sushi it. is you get that wasabi burn in your nose a little bit. So certain things that I learned that were like mistakes that a lot of people take wasabi and mix it in with the soy sauce. Technically not supposed to do that. I'm not gonna like nitpick every little thing they do because I feel like that's an asshole move. Right. But when you're gonna save them from ruining their meal, then I'll then I'll chime. <laughs> Is this red snapper? Yes, sir. It's one of my no favorite. No soy sauce. No soy sauce. There's the rules. There's the rules. There's no the rules. Soy That's, That's a really layered piece of sushi right there. Mm. Number one thing that I see people do wrong with nigiri, they take it and they dip the rice side down in the soy sauce and it becomes a complete salt bomb and you wash away all the flavors of the fish. When you do use soy sauce, it was like flip the fish and kind of dip it like that. So you just dip the fish in the you sauce. You gotta go fish first on that dip. Yeah, you gotta go it, fish first dip, on that dip. You gotta, or else you just soak the whole block of rice and then you're just like, oh, that was a nice $12 bite of salt, you know? When you think about sushi, I think about hand rolls, I think about rolls, but what are we eating today? Uh, we're eating all nigiri. Anytime you see like a rectangular block of rice with like a slab of fish over it, uh, that's nigiri. Sashimi is just usually pretty thinly slices of fish, lightly seasoned, and then sushi rolls, kind of like rolled up in the seaweed, cut into pieces. Sometimes people complain that sushi is not filling enough. At the end of the meal, you get a hand roll and that punches you and you're like, whoa, okay, now I'm done. Very true. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> 
I try to uh, give you a toro next one. Like, did you want a uh, all toros, you know, very fatty one, or two toro, the mild one? Let's do the two toro. Two toro, okay. I always hear people talking about toro this, toro that. Yeah. What's even the difference? O toro has a chance of being 10 out of 10 more than two toro. But two oh, toro is definitely more consistently. Definitely going to be an eight guaranteed. Really good, yeah. <laughs> guaranteed eight. So this is the two toro, right? This is the medium fatty, yeah. Mm. Best piece so far, I think. Yeah, you know why? Because I don't even think I used my teeth on that. Yeah. Like, I just took my tongue, pushed it to the top of my mouth, and then it was just gone. <laughs> You're turning me off. Oh, I'm doing the uh, seared uh, golden eye snapper, the kimedai. Kimedai. This is really... Really good. It's better lukewarm so that generates uh, more flavor. And then chef, I notice you know we're going with our fingers on this. When is it? When do you use chopsticks? When do you just go fingers? Does it well, matter? Well, I have no rules about that. I mean, like you know, people not used to that picking up the uh, raw fish with their own hands and uh, go ahead and use the chopsticks. They're pussies. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> This one looks serious. A little intense for me, this one. Really? Mm-hmm. Was it the sauce or the fish? I think it's the way that they both hit. When you see some of the fish with the darker scales, usually they kind of have like a deeper ocean flavor. I think it does taste like the sea. It just doesn't taste like um, a stank mermaid. <laughs> So this is the last one. It's serious business over here. What do I do? Just hammer? It's just kind of like a little ice cream cone. You can just I, chomp on I it. Oh. Arigato gozaimasu. Cheers, man. Cheers, it's been man. real. <laughs> Cheers. It's great. Yeah. So is this your first omakase? First omakase ever. What are your uh, final thoughts? This was an amazing meal. After a meal like that, you, you kind of lose yourself in the experience. And that's like one of my favorite things about sushi. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, you know, uh, I eat three meals a day, every single day. How many of them do I remember? Like yeah. none? It's gonna be a long time before I forget this meal, yeah. you know? I feel like we're supposed to kiss now. <laughs> <laughs> that's not happening. Fuck it, YOLO.